This tutorial goes into more properties of functions and you're probably like, oh my god, how can she talk so much about properties of functions? And you know what? I could probably talk for hours about it, but in this video, just to keep it nice and short, I won't. In fact, I probably won't be talking about interval notation or finite differences because there are separate videos I've already uploaded on those. If you want to go over those again, just check them out. Um, we've also discussed point and line symmetry, so I don't really want to go over that either. Um, what I do want to talk about is the difference between even and odd symmetry. Okay, so there are differences and we're going to look at both differences algebraically and um, graphically, but more so I want to talk about what confuses a lot of people. Okay, so that is the difference between even symmetry and an even degree function. Okay, so there's a big difference. So first of all, even functions. Now an even symmetrical function is not the same as an even degree function. An even degree function is anything with an even exponent. So that's x squared, x to the power of 4, x to the power of 6, and so on. Now out of all of those even degrees, you may or may not have even symmetry. So what exactly is even symmetry? Well, even symmetry is if you decided to graph your original function, and then you copied and pasted it. And that copy, if you decided to reflect it horizontally, if the copy and the original overlap each other, then you have even um, symmetry. Okay, so let's just take a look. I know it says algebraically, but we'll talk about the algebra later. If you have your original and you decided to reflect it horizontally, if these two are the same, then you have even symmetry. So graphically, it might look like this. Now here is an even degree function. It may or may not have even symmetry. So what we have to do is prove that this works. Okay, so here's the original f at x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste it. And let's just turn it blue. Okay, so it should be lying right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect it horizontally. So I'm going to reflect it horizontally over the y-axis and notice that they overlap. So since they overlap they're equal and that means this even degree function has even symmetry. Okay now odd functions. Um, odd symmetry again is not the same as odd degree functions. So odd degree functions are anything with an x cubed, x to the power of 5, x to the power of 7, 9, whatever. Okay so odd exponents. Out of those odd degrees, you may or may not have odd symmetry. Okay, so how do you know if you have odd symmetry? Well, if you take your original and then you decided to reflect it horizontally, if that copy is the same as if you had reflected your original vertically, then that means that you have odd symmetry. Okay, and let's take a look at what that looks like um, as an equation. So a vertical flip, if it's the same as a horizontal flip, then that's an odd symmetrical function. Okay, so graphically, here's my original function. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste, and let's do the horizontal flip first. Okay, so it's blue, and it was normally right here. I'm going to reflect it. All right, so that is a horizontal um, reflection. Now, what I'm going to do is do the red one. Okay, so this is the original, but I'm going to flip it vertically. All right, and notice that they pretty much overlap each other. So if the blue and the red are the same, then that means you have an odd symmetry. Now this is an x cubed graph, and the x cubed may or may not have odd symmetry, but notice that this specific x cubed graph does have odd symmetry. Okay, so that's basically a graphing, but why don't we go into algebra? Okay, this was a property again for the even functions, the even symmetrical functions, and this was a property for the odd symmetrical functions. Now, how do we prove it algebraically? Well, if you take your original polynomial and you decide to sub in a negative x everywhere you saw an x, if those two things are the same, those two equations, or um, I should say expressions are the same, then that means you have an even symmetrical function. Or if you decide to sub in negative x wherever you see an x, and then you compared it to 
just taking a negative and putting it in front of the entire f at x, if those two are the same, you have an odd symmetrical function. Okay, so here's an example. Here's f at x, and it looks like a negative leading coefficient in front of a 1, 2, 3. 3x's three means it's an x cubed. That means it's an odd degree function. It's a negative x cubed graph. Okay, um, the second question is asking you to look at symmetry now. So what I want to do is I want to compare and see if it's even symmetry or odd symmetry. Now, it might not be either. I mean, if we compare and it doesn't, um, I guess, fit into either property, that means it's just it's not even symmetry or odd symmetry. So that's another possibility. Okay, here's our f at x the original equation. We already talked about it being an odd degree function because it was an x cubed. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sub in a negative x everywhere I see an x. So here, here, and here. All right, so I've done that right there. Um, and what I'm going to do is just simplify it a little bit. So I took off the round brackets right there and there. Okay, and I wanted to see if this actually looked like the original function. So what I did was I took out a negative 1. So I factored out a negative 1 from each of the brackets. So here's a negative 1 that I factored out and a negative 1 that I factored out. And notice that uh, the leftovers, after you factor it out, does change. All right. Now I took all of those negative 1s because they're all coefficients and I combined them with the uh, leading coefficient. So negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And then I'm going to multiply it with the negative 2, and that's why it became a positive 2. All of these round brackets stay the same. And now I'm going to compare this with um, the original. So if the red and the black match, you have an even symmetrical function. Notice that they don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a negative and sub it in front of the entire thing. So I'm going to take a gigantic bracket and put it around this original function. So here I have the square brackets and then I'm going to put a negative in front of it. Now if I simplify it and it matches this guy, then that means that I have an odd symmetrical function. Okay, so let's see what happens. All right, so the negative one multiplied with the negative leading coefficient here makes a positive two and none of the brackets change. All right, so this does not look like the red. Therefore, even though this is an x cubed graph, it's not an odd symmetrical function. Okay, so this one is a neither. Now there was one more um, example. Let's just go over that one really quickly. Here we go right here. This is um, g of x and it looks like an even degree function and we're just going to check if it has even, odd, or neither in terms of um, symmetricalness. <laughs> All right, so it is an even degree. It's an x to the power of four. And I'm gonna sub in a negative x everywhere I see an x. Remember to put in your brackets because it will affect um, your answer. Okay, so negative x to the power of four is positive x to the power of four. I put a negative x right here as well. So negative x squared is a positive x squared. It doesn't affect the coefficient in front. Okay, and there's my one as well. So this is, um, g of negative x, that horizontal flip, and notice that it is exactly the same as the original, therefore this is an even function, or sorry, an even symmetrical function. I just want to make sure that it's not an odd symmetrical function, so I put a negative in front of the g of x, so that means a negative in front of this entire thing, so I put the entire thing in brackets. All right, now that negative is going to distribute into the bracket and you get a negative x to the power of four, a positive x squared, and a negative one. And notice that this is not the same as this. So if the red and green matched, it would be an odd symmetrical function. So this is not an odd symmetrical function. So we've already proven that the black and the red match. Since they match, it is an even symmetrical function. Okay, so I'm hoping that now that you've watched the video, you understand the difference between even and odd symmetry. Not only that, but you understand the difference between even symmetry and even degree functions.